Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to episode 48 of Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. It has been five days since I played this version of the game, and that is because of Friday's episode, because holy crap, Friday's episode was so exhausting. Again, if you haven't seen that episode, you should go watch it because, oh my goodness, it was just, it was so draining. So I had to take a couple extra days off from this version just because of, just because of Friday. So yeah, on Monday I played a third party uh, mobile version, like a phone version. And then yesterday I played the Wii version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and I won $10,000, which is actually a lot more than I was expecting to win because I've hardly played that version at all. So yeah, my overall total is now 1,337,333 dollars. So yeah, there's a lot of threes in there for sure. Uh, so yeah, I'm back with this version. Like I said, it's been five days and uh, I'm fresh and I'm ready to go. So how about we get right into this? All right, let's do this. Here we go. First question for $100. Which color does not appear on the Australian flag? Oh my goodness. Biased much? <laughs> All right. All right, got 100 bucks. We're going for 200 now. What is the name of TV's most famous dolphin? Flipper. Mr. E Ed or Ed? There's a character on um, F0 uh, with that name, and I always refer to him as Mr. Ede. I think it's spelled the same, so I guess maybe it is Mr. Ed. I don't know. Anyways, it is Flipper. 200 bucks. Perfection. You're not going for 300. Figuratively, the world has how many? Oh my gosh, not this question again. Oh. You guys should go watch episode 40 if you want to understand the reference. I, I still don't get how. I mean, they have to be talking about. Like, I guess that's why they say it says figuratively, because, like, the world is round. Like, I, I don't know. Anyways, forget about that question. Notorious symbol for the Cold War was the Berlin what? Berlin Wall. Yes! Okay. Perfect! We are now going for 1,000. Disease, rubella, is also called measles, of which nationality? I want to say I want to say German, and you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. I I I thought I was I thought about playing it safe, and I was like, you know what? No, because on episode on, on Monday's episode, episode 46, I I used two lifelines on two questions in a row where I actually had the correct answer, so I probably could have ended up winning 200, maybe even 400 thousand dollars on Monday's episode. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated annually on 17th of which month? Well, considering that green is my favorite color of all time, and it has been since about 2005, we're going to go with March. Okay. We are now going for 3,000? I was going to say 3,000. No. There's <laughs> the last two... <laughs> The last two episodes, the the money tree has actually had a three thousand dollar question, but not not this version. Okay, four thousand dollars. Australian Pam Bridge is a former world champion. What sport? I don't know. I would like to say swimming, but you know what? We're gonna be smart. We're gonna phone a friend. Do do do. Dude. Surfing? All right, we will go with that. Well, hey, what do you know? Well, hey. Okay, we're going for 8,000 now, so I got two lifelines. Who stars TV Xena Warrior Princess? I do not know. Lucy Lawless, Lisa Leslie, Le Lucy Lou or Liu, Laura Lini. Um, we're gonna ask the audience. I can't even narrow it down to three. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> A? Which one was that? Was that Lucy Lawless? We'll go with that. Okay. Got 8,000. We're going to go for 16. Now, let's see. 
Should I take a chance? I don't know. I'd like to get to the thirty-two thousand dollar level. I know I'm 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 starting to get pat to get to the thirty thousand dollar level on a somewhat regular basis. That was very rare at the beginning of the series, so that means I'm obviously getting better at this version. Which Israel Prime Minister was assassinated in 1995? I have no idea. I have no clue. I think it's A, but let's just be smart. All right, we're gonna go with A. Oh, are you kidding? Well, you know what? I took a chance. I took a chance at it. Uh, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. We're gonna do a lot better than, than we did today, believe me. I'll see you guys then. Adios.